As we look at possible future scenarios, we find that the warfighting advantages we've long held over our adversaries are quickly diminishing. In this complex security environment, the Air Force must have the right size and mix of agile, lethal capabilities brought to bear by airmen steeped in the business of joint operations and combined warfare to compete, deter, and win. Shaped by this strategic outlook and in alignment with the National Defense Strategy, the Air Force Fiscal Year 19 President's Budget Request has built off six key budget priorities designed to accelerate readiness and increase lethality to confront the re-emergence of great power competition. Accelerating warfighter readiness continues to remain a primary objective. Readiness is the first and foremost about having enough trained people. And this budget boosts our training pipeline capacity, expands pilot training, and addresses experience shortfalls, continues incentive pays and bonuses, improves <coughs> administrative support at the squadron level, and funds flying hours to maximum executable levels. This budget increases the size of the Air Force by 4,700 military personnel to include active guard and reserve. Additionally, this budget submission funds important support to airmen and families with a 2.6% military pay raise, increased housing and subsistence allowances, a continuing commitment to family support programs, and purposeful development of airmen to strengthen our joint warfighting, warfighting excellence. Second, this budget supports a safe, secure, and effective nuclear deterrent. Deterrence works when our adversaries know that we can hold what they value at risk. <coughs> the Air Force stewards two legs of the triad, and the nuclear mission continues to be a top priority for our Air Force. It begins with funding increases to our Nuclear Command Control and Communications, or NC3, systems to link decision makers to nuclear forces without fail and under all conditions. In this budget, we also begin development of the replacement engine for the B-52H and continue development of the ground-based strategic deterrent and the long-range standoff missile. Third, Underfunded and modernization for over a decade, the fiscal year 19 budget request targets cost-effective modernization to increase the lethality of the force. This budget supports the purchase of 48 F-35s, 15 KC-46s, and continues development of the B-21 bomber. This budget request also supports the development of the TX, advanced trainer aircraft, and the purchase of the combat rescue helicopter, confirming the Air Force's commitment to leave no one behind. Additionally, the FY19 OCO budget funds the procurement of 21 MQ-9s to replace combat aircraft, and we fund the replacement of one HC-130J combat loss. And as previously highlighted, we'll procure more than 28,000 Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAM, tail kits, just over 3,900 small diameter bombs, that's SDB-1s to be precise, and 3,000 Hellfire missiles through this OCO request to bring total preferred munitions buys to current industry capacity. Fourth, this FY19 budget continues to show the Air Force's commitment to moving faster to defendable space by accelerating our efforts to deter, defend, and prevail against anyone who seeks to deny our ability to freely operate in space. This budget recognizes that adversaries are developing the ability to, not, to deny our free use of space and includes capabilities to confront that threat. Technological advances continue to change the character of warfare. This budget proposes to improve the way we execute battlefield management, command, and control in the multi-domain environment. Instead of recapitalizing JSTARS, a platform which is not viable in the contested environments prioritized in the National Defense Strategy, this budget reallocates that funding to achieve an advanced battle management system for the future through a new incremental approach. This effort leverages existing and emerging sensor technologies from space, air, and ground-based sensors coupled with an agile, resilient communications architecture to integrate and fuse information for the joint warfighter in both contested and uncontested environments. This advanced battlefield management system will significantly improve battlefield awareness and enable faster, smarter decisions that will give us the winning edge. Sixth, the National Defense Strategy emphasizes the importance of alliances and partnerships. The FY19 budget reinforces the Air Force's commitment to our allies and international partners through funding for the European De Deterrence Initiative and the Indo-Pacific Security Initiatives. And finally, while this budget proposes additional resources for the Air Force, we have to gain full value from every taxpayer dollar we spend. We will drive innovation, reinforce budget discipline and affordability, and deliver performance with the funds entrusted to us through our continued commitment to auditable financial statements and implementation of the Department's broader reform initiatives. Mm -hmm.